Paddle for Beginners explained in 8 minutes. Are you interested in a game called Paddle? We hope you bought the Paddle Rackets because you will want to play after watching this video. Hi, I hope you are all good and eager to learn Paddle. Paddle is a sport that is a mix between tennis and squash. That is the simplest we can break it down to. Yet. But don't worry. By the end of this video, you can give yourself a trophy for knowing the basic rules of the sport, plus a few tips and tricks to get an edge over other beginners. We all know how much the adrenaline of any sport pushes you to win the competition. Yes, we understand. Now, you must have heard about Paddle from somewhere and come here. Or you saw this pop up in your suggestions and decided to check if your muscles can honor this game. No matter how you came here, we will give you a detailed guide on how you can play this sport if you are a beginner. So if you're new around here, then hit the like button. And now let's get straight into the video. Body. Before we get into the tips and tricks of the game, we are going to have a short history lesson. No, it will not put you to sleep, but it will keep you well informed. So how did paddle come into existence? It all started in Mexico, where a young lad by the name of Enrique Corquera suffered from the art of procrastination. Hence, he decided to invent this game. How? You see, Enrique was tired of hitting balls and losing them. Unlike our lot, he did not have any little kids around who could be told to go pick up the balls in exchange for allowing them to play. So you know what he did? He decided to put up walls around the court and called this game Paddle. Today, the paddle courts have either glass, concrete, or net walls surrounding the courts. If it is a professional fancy court, you will have glass walls, but you can use anything as long as the balls bounce back into the court. Seems like just the kind of game for my lazy soul. And the court is slightly smaller than a tennis court. But wait, what is the difference between the paddle and other court games? Only that it has a wall? Um, no. The rules are slightly different. This is where it gets interesting. First of all, a game of paddle needs two players. No, not against each other, but in a team. Yes, you need to find a partner to support you because you cannot play on your own. Are you thinking that is a solid idea for a couple's date? Maybe, maybe not. Next comes the racket. Unlike a tennis racket, this one does not have any strings. It has a solid surface made up of either glass or carbon fibers and holds a soft material underneath them, usually foam or rubber. Pretty much like athletes, they have a mushy heart underneath all those hard muscles. Now, it may appear as if the racket is heavy, but you'll be surprised to know that it weighs the same as a tennis racket. Plus, it is much smaller, so you get an easy grip on the handle. Yes, incredibly ergonomic. People who already play in courts will have no trouble picking it up or channeling their upper arm strength for power hits. I say that because picking up the groceries puts enough pressure on these apps. Did I set the bar too low? Okay, moving on. Let us talk about the net. It is pretty much the same one used in tennis. But according to the International Paddle Federation, you need to set up a net with certain dimensions if you want to play professionally. Make it 10 meters wide and 20 meters long. Then you can call it your paddle net. I feel like I am designing the court as I go. But let's not get ahead of ourselves. So what about scoring? How does that happen? Great question. I see that you are here to win. Hopefully you're not in on a bet or anything. Firstly. The players must shoot diagonally, and the winner of the toss gets the first serve. The points in the game are counted as 15, 30, and 40. At a score of 40-40, as known as deuce, you need to win two consecutive points. To win a set, you need to collect six games with a two-game difference in the end. A tiebreak is played in which the winner is the first side to get to seven points with two clear points at the end. To defeat your opponent, you have to win two sets out of a maximum of three sets that can be played. Yes, similar to tennis, but if you don't know tennis, that is okay. You can start with paddle. How to win a point. To get a point, there are different rules. The first one is easy to remember. The ball must bounce twice on the opponent's court. You will also win a point if the opponent hits the ball into the net or their own grid. The next way to score a point is if the ball hits the glass or fence before bouncing into your court first. The last form of scoring a point is if you hit the ball and it strikes one of your opponent's body parts. Now comes the part that will get you that trophy or make you confident about choosing this as your dare. Yes, we spot you people too. How are you going to turn this game in your favor? Let's see a few tips and tricks we learned. 
We know that you are a beginner, but if your opponents are better than you, then you will be pushed to become better. So it may be hard to take a few losses at your end, but that is what will make your game stronger. So our first motivational tip for you is to play against a good pair of paddle partners. Judge the wall. This is an important tip because the wall can either turn into your friend or a level up than your worst enemy. It cannot take the place of your worst enemy. Have some loyalty, my friend. Here's a tip that comes in handy. For the wall to be your friend, not for your worst enemy. Sorry, but you have to figure that one out for yourself. Watch out for the spin. The ball will rise off the wall if it is thrown with a top spin. On the other hand, the ball will go down after the wall if it is played with a slice. If you are having trouble figuring this out, don't worry. All you need to do at that moment is to get the ball over the net. That's it. The next tip is another important part of strengthening your game. Get the right equipment. Period. If you are stuck with a knockoff version of the paddle racket, you might as well call for more practice. Because that is going to cost you a lot. There are a lot of brands offering you budget-friendly options, and their gear is far better than any expert racket for paddle you find on the internet. Here are a couple of bonus tips. If you are near the net, you have a better shot at scoring points for your team. Plus, you need to learn the continental grip. It will help you in the future to practice the complicated shots with ease. But if you want to start out light, then do not trouble yourself with these options. Lastly, if you are considering playing the sport on a professional level, you need to hire a coach. This video will get you started, but only an expert can get you where you wish to go. They can help you learn amazing tips and tricks of the game, which you can practice as you go. Plus, they will help you get through that fence and allow you to leave that court with dignity, because that is how much effort you can put into your practice alongside the coach. So, what do you think? Have we made you a pro yet? Just kidding. That is not possible until you practice. And we hope we have given you enough ground that you can play on the court and hit the ball over the net with ease. If you really enjoyed this video, then make sure to hit the subscribe button, and we'll see you in the next one. Till then, bye!